After this jujitsu round, you'll know how to wrestle up to dominant positions, nail a back crucifix, and key tips to make friends and triangle acquaintances. It takes time to make these videos, so if you're watching, subscribe. His Kimura grip means we're wrestling like I'm a one-armed man fugitive. It wasn't me. Getting your knee inside theirs means you can angle their leg. He defends going backward by putting his far knee down so you can double leg to wrestle up to a more dominant position. This guy gives the double leg a chef's kiss. Just kidding, he's probably just has a rogue matte hair in his mouth. One huge tip so you can get more wrestling takedowns is to get their knees together. This makes taking them down easier because you take away the strength of their base by reducing the diameter. This makes them into a one-legged table. He defends the arm bar by pinning my leg to the ground. To keep his posture broken, I keep his right tricep tight to my stomach. I shoot my right leg high by getting my hips off the ground. Then I use the downward momentum of locking up the triangle at an angle to sweep. I finish with an arm bar from a triangle hold. Here's a key tip for you to get more triangles. The principle is to break their posture and get your buns up off the mat. If their head is high, your no-no square needs to shoot up like a throat punch. Remember kids, triangle equals a no-no square throat punch. We start from side turtle, I back heel to trap his arm to crucifix, he quickly rolls and catches my head at an awkward angle, and yeah, I definitely had a free adjustment here. Take a moment to make sure my head can still move and we continue the round. I go for a fat man roll, but he posts his leg and pushes his weight back. A delta in size and strength means doing it harder will just be wasted energy, so you might as well use your energy for something good, so I grab onto a single leg like a junkyard dog. Goes for a wizard to defend my angling to his back. From a single, I grab his far ankle and knee and pull them to me as I drive forward for a double leg to wrestle up to a dominant position. I'm the Wonder Woman, let me go get my robe. Back heel to straighten his legs to keep him on the ground like a Khabib smesh style. He is able to post and turn to get to his knees. From here, I go for the crucifix again. Once you have their near side arm trap between your legs, from here, make sure their head doesn't lift up. If it pops up from under your stomach, you just put yourself in side control. Keep my head close to him so I can easily shoulder roll to protect my neck. Catch me outside. How about that? To initiate momentum to shoulder roll to get back crucifix position, I use my far arm and handstand. During the transition, I switch to a power half Nelson grip because I can grab it faster than a Kimura grip. He fights to free his arms, so I retriangle my legs, and he defends the crucifix back control by getting to his knees, so I answer his prayer with a cross face. As long as my torso is nailed to his back, he must bear the weight of my vacation meals. I keep tight so he wears my torso like it's a backward hat of thorns. He grabs my far leg and slams me. The hand stands over, but to his horror, annoyingly, he just re-entered the back control crucifix position. Key tip for you to maintain control of strong arms between your legs, keep your thighs close to their shoulder. If your thighs are at or below their elbow line, they can easily rip out their arm from between your legs. He taps to a one arm rear naked choke from back crucifix. If you're interested in MMA, being in side turtle is not safe. Look at me flinch here. Um, yeah, I definitely have gotten hit here. He pulls my hip and since he doesn't have a right leg hook, he gets a side control instead of getting back control. Key tip, get an underhook faster than a bead of sweat on a hooker in church. When all else fails, aggressively hug and drive. Here I need to get my butt back and over his hips to flatten. 
He fights my hook by kicking back to clear the hook and I try slapping on a rear naked choke from the side because why not? It does take time to rate these videos and make really corny crucifix jokes. So if you're watching, say thanks by subscribing to the channel. Here is the entire round with minimal edits and some good music. It's always helpful to watch jujitsu to see what your brain can recall, and I always see something new whenever I rewatch rolls. I will see you at the end of this round.
It was great spending time with you. Double check to make sure you're subscribed to the channel um, and, you know, keep training, keep showing up. Every step forward is, you know, it's good in any type of journey, whether it be fitness or jujitsu or anything. And yeah, you're getting better every single day. And until next time, love you. I am.